Hey there everybody and welcome back to another Blender tutorial. Today we are going to be animating a four-dimensional fractal using Fractal Machine, which is a new Blender Market thing uh, that gives you four-dimensional fractals inside of Blender. Uh, technically, we are going to be taking a Julia set and kind of animating its uh, seed or generating value. Uh, that's only if you know what I'm talking about. So either way, let me show you how to do this. Link in the description for Fractal Machine. So uh, first of all, we need to install, it's not an app, on it's more of an asset pack uh, but to do that go to edit go to preferences and then in file paths you want to make sure that in your asset libraries you have fractal machine if you don't click plus go to uh, the fractal machine folder and click add asset library I already have it though so make sure that's there and then when you go into the asset browser so again this is an asset library uh, you are gonna see fractal machine which has a bunch of different fractals you can do a Julia set uh, you can do a Kleinian, whatever that means. Um, I'm going to go for a Julia set and we're going to animate this over time. So uh, the way this uh, asset pack works is it's all geometry node based. I think it's probably using the volume cube, if I had to guess. Uh, but you can see every fractal has a geo nodes group. Most importantly to us is one, the resolution. So I'm going to bring that down for now, uh, which is going to make it look choppy, but uh, we're going to up the resolution after we're done animating. And second of all, the Julia constant, which is the seed value for this. So you can see we can animate and get uh, different shapes on the X and the Y. And for all of this, we can also add a four dimensional offset uh, to create a bit of variation. Okay. So here's how we're going to do this. We're going to take our Julia constant. We're going to make it a vector that we can control. Uh, fun fact about the Julia set in two dimensions, uh, when the seed is zero um, on complex and real numbers, it's going to make a circle or in three dimensional space, a sphere. And then as you increase the X, it's going to do something like this. And as you increase the Y, it's going to do something different. Uh, so we want to animate both of these. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a sine function. We're going to use a sine and a cosine to animate these offset by 90 degrees or a fourth of a period, if you will. And we're going to animate this relative to time. So make sure you connect time to both of these. And just a little tidbit about the Julia set is not all values are going to be visible. Uh, so I'm going to scale it down so it's closer to zero, the local sphere. Scale it to 0.5. And now let's uh, play this animation. You can see we have an evolving fractal, okay? Uh, let's make it faster. So take this, multiply it by like five, and now we have a fast uh, moving fractal. Uh, to make it a bit different, again, we can play with the four dimensional constant uh, to get slightly different variations. You don't wanna go out of bounds or else, you know, we're not gonna see anything anymore. Uh, but just pick a result that you like. I like the look of this. Again, this is just the motion. To bake this in and to render it, uh, we're going to up the count to 200. And you can see that makes a much smoother fractal. And you can also play with the iterations. So do I want a, a smooth kind of motion, which this is a cool render in its own right, uh, to be honest. Or do you want to add more and more detail? Again, uh, the more detail you add, the more you're going to need to increase the volume cube because it's going to be sparser and sparser. So I recommend keeping the iterations kind of low for this. So let's go for something like that. And now let's just view this at a hundred resolution. So we can kind of get a vibe for this. Yeah, that plays cleanly. We can up the resolution and it's going to lag a bit depending on your computer because fractals are, you know, notoriously complicated to compute or expensive to compute. Either way, uh, once you're done with this and it's nice and animated, we're going to add in a camera and then the rest of this is pretty simple. Um, we want to just position the camera right here and make sure that the animation is within the bounds of the camera. And then uh, let's also set up our render. So this is EV compatible uh, because it's all geonodes. Uh, so I'm going to make a light with the power of 200, 200 and we're just gonna position that somewhere where we can see it, uh, just so we can see the depth of what's going on here. And actually, we may as well render in cycles. Oh yeah, that's looking nice. Uh, by the way, in geometry nodes, I'm pretty sure they're applying a uh, material here. So I believe, let's change to GPU. I believe if we go into the shader editor, we can find a, yep, we can find all the materials here. And uh, you could play with those or not. 
Um, I wonder if this is, yeah, it seems to be taking the same thing. I wonder if we can uh, mess with it here. I kind of like the white look, or you could pick, uh, you know, something interesting. Uh, something fun to play with maybe is like upping the ambient occlusion and like using that as base color with a distance of, not a distance, but a uh, color ramp to enhance it just so we can kind of see the concavity of this a bit more. So I'm going to color ramp, bring this in. So now this has more detail in a sense. So this is before, this is after. And as we play this, uh, we get a cool uh, looking fractal. By the way, I should probably save this. I'll call it 4D fractal. So uh, this is generally how you animate a fractal. You can do it with any of the uh, fractal machine fractals that have a constant that you can change. I don't know if all of them do, but you can play around with it. And that will get you a four-dimensional fractal animation. So again, link in the description uh, for where you can download fractal machine. That is an affiliate link. Um, and that is the essence of it. Thank you for watching.